Hello everyone and happy Thursday to you. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I thank you so much for stopping by the channel. My name is Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T and welcome. So today's video is my second entry into the hashtag I'm so festive challenge that is being hosted by Delilah of Simply Delilah and Kim of Kim Gaddy Sews. This challenge actually began on November 10th and it runs through December 17th, which is actually tomorrow. And in order to participate, all you had to do is sew something festive for yourself or someone else and then in, enter it into the challenge by tagging the host, which is Delilah or Kim, when you post your make. So when you post your make, you're automatically entered into the drawings that they have and they have a lot of drawings. So if you think you can squeeze a last minute project in or if you made something and you didn't know about the challenge, definitely try to participate by posting it on Instagram and everyone will be able to view your make and just enjoy the festivity that comes along with your garment. <laughs> So if you would like more information on this, I will go ahead and link to the information videos in the description box below. So as my contribution to the hashtag I'm so festive challenge, I have made one garment already and I can link to that above. And I also made this garment which I am wearing and it is my second entry and this is a Simplicity 9456 which is an oversized hoodie. So let's talk about this garment that I made. <laughs> when I originally made my December sewing plans, I had intentions on sewing a different hoodie pattern with my festive fabric here to participate in this challenge. And the original pattern that I had planned to use was Simplicity 9240. That particular hoodie pattern is just like your regular style of hoodie. And that would have worked out just fine, of course. But after putting a little more thought into it I went through my patterns and I came across this one that I had picked up recently which is Simplicity 9456 and I was like I should make that one I, I'm gonna do that one <laughs> I love the idea of an oversized hoodie because honestly not only is it something that is worn outside but it also reminds me of like a house coat to some degree you know and I do get very cold and this is something that I can also wear around you know like the house or just kind of like just going out and about you know if I really wanted to and I also thought this would be the perfect type of coating to wear when it starts snowing more and you know we take the boys sledding because this fabric that I use to make this will definitely keep us warm and I mean it will hey y'all I'm driving on my way to take pictures for this oversized hoodie and because this thing is so warm I have the air conditioning on in my car. <laughs> it's honestly, it's unusually warm here for this time of year. But yeah, just know I have the AC on because this is so warm. <laughs> And the other reason why I decided to go with this hoodie is because it's so extra. <laughs> and you already know that's me. I'm extra, extra, extra. Read all about it. <laughs> So I absolutely fell in love with this idea of having this jumbo hoodie. So I had to make sure that I had enough fabric to make it and I did and here it is. Ta-da! <laughs> so let's jump into my experience with this pattern. So again, I've already told you, but this is Simplicity 9456 and the pattern description is unisex oversized hoodies with pants and booty patterns as well. Um, I would have loved to make the booties, but I was running out of time. So I decided to release the idea out of my head because it, it was it was churning and I really wanted to do it. The extra in me. So the views for this pattern, there are four views to this particular hoodie. View A is a hoodie without the hood. So I don't even know if that could be considered a hoodie if it doesn't have a hood. So maybe it's just an oversized sweatshirt, but it, they call it a hoodie. Anyway, view B is the longer oversized hoodie with the pocket, which is what I made. View C is the shorter 
hoodie with no pocket and view D are the pants and view E are the booties. So the fabric recommendations are going to be your stretch knits only such as fleece, sweatshirting, terry knit, minky, and it also suggests rib knits for the sleeve bands. Um, the sewing skill is not rated. I don't think Simplicity rates any of their sewing skills, but it is very easy. So I use six pattern pieces to make this hoodie. And the pattern pieces that I use were the front, the back, the front pocket, the sleeves, the hood, and the sleeve bands. The front, back, and hood are all lined, so you will have to cut those pattern pieces out twice. Uh, the notions that you will need is gonna be your thread, of course, and then one and three fourths yard of half inch twill tape. And the twill tape is to thread through the hood to tighten it up while wearing it. So you can definitely replace that with something equivalent like some ribbon or some roping, you know, to do the job. So it's not necessary, you know, to have it, but you can definitely use it. Um, so the pattern sizing comes in extra small through extra large and the finished bust measurements are on the front pattern piece. So that can be used to guide you as to what size to cut. Um, but I normally, in these type of garments with simplicity make a large so i just stuck with the large because i wanted to make sure that i still had that oversized look so i do feel like it looks like the photo that's on the pattern envelope and the instructions were very easy to follow i didn't have any issues with that at all and the things that i like about the pattern I love this oversized look. I absolutely love it. I love the big huge jumbo kangaroo pocket in the front. I like the drop shoulders and the hood. I, I just like it all the way around. And I have nothing negative to say about the pattern in general. I really really love it. Um, I didn't learn any new like techniques or anything like that because it was a pretty simple sew. But as far as having a first time experience, yes, this was my first time making a pullover hoodie. The other hoodies that I have made in the past were zip hoodies. So again, this is the first time that I made a pullover, which is basically a shirt with a hood. So I mean, but it's a hoodie <laughs> so the fabric that i use is this cute and festive reindeer blizzard fleece that i purchased from joanne fabrics and when i was thinking of making a hoodie i wanted something that was really going to scream festive and i also wanted to use fleece because i know it keeps me warm because i've used it in the past and my experience with it is just it's warm <laughs> so i went to the store and i didn't find anything that i wanted so then I went on to the Joann's website and I came across this fabric. Um, the website said that it was available at a store that's about 30 miles from my home. So instead of ordering it because I was a little anxious, I drove there only for it to not be there at all. Nowhere. I mean, I searched that store up and down. Nowhere to be found. What? So ever. So I, I asked the store workers to kind of help me. They couldn't find it either. And then they got the store manager and the store manager said that it never arrived. And so apparently they have that issue a lot. So I went ahead, drove back home and then I went online to order it and it was shipped to my home. And again, ta-da! <laughs> So for the lining, I used a white Sherpa to give it the fluffy look and and it's also another warm fabric. So yes, I wanted to make sure that I had all the warmth with this hoodie and you know, I wanted to make sure that I felt like I was going to be covered in a wearable blanket, you know what I mean? So yeah, the Sherpa and the fleece gives it that fluffy i'm covered i'm in a blanket give me a cup of coffee let's watch a movie give me the remote type of feel so yes love 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 it so this is definitely gonna get lots of use um 
but as I mentioned before I did purchase this from Joanne Fabrics and they have lots of different festive and holiday-ish fleeces on their website if you want to check it out but now alterations or changes yes 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 and if you plan to make this you are going to want to listen when I cut the pattern out I transferred all of my markings for the pocket on the front pattern piece like you're supposed to I laid the pocket piece down on the front and noticed that the bottom of the pocket was only about four inches from the bottom of the hoodie now when you look at the model on the pattern cover there's at least 10 to 12 inches below the pocket so I was a little taken back by that but because I wanted to make sure that I didn't do anything wrong when I cut the pattern out I went back to the pattern piece to make sure that I cut my fabrics at the correct spot and I did I don't know what I was thinking but I sewed it down anyway instead of just pinning it to try it on to see what it looked like and no mm -mm. it was a no-go <laughs> so I did measure my hoodie let me just put that out there to make sure it was the correct length that the pattern gives and it was it was correct it was the right length so what basically ended up happening with that pocket piece being too low is the markings on the pattern for the pocket are not in the correct space okay so basically the pocket pattern markings on where to place the pocket are not in the correct spot okay there's absolutely no way that it can be in the correct spot because a pocket should never be that low not only that I couldn't even tuck my hands in my pocket properly I would have had to bend and lift <laughs> the hoodie in order for me to stick my hands in there okay you guys I already placed the pocket and you can see the indent where it was sewn down and you can also see the markings here that's the dot for the bottom of the pocket pocket and this is the dot for where this corner was but it was so low I mean it just didn't make any sense so in order to get it to look the way it looks now as a finished product I had to take I had to raise the pocket by as you can see my dot lines up with the eight inch mark just a little little under eight inches so yeah I had to raise it by that much in order to get the desired look and for it to look like the models on the pattern cover it was it's definitely an error with the printing process with simplicity because you know that that that's just not gonna work for anybody but because I had already sewn my pocket down, which like I said, I don't know why I did that, I had to unpick my stitches and I moved it up by eight inches in order to get the desired look and for it to look like what the model was wearing on the pattern cover. So as far as any recommendations when it comes to this pattern, I recommend that if you make this pattern that you pin your pocket piece to your hoodie prior to sewing it down to make sure that your markings are correct and you know not that you're doing anything wrong but I don't know how many patterns went out like this from simplicity and I don't know if it has been corrected but I do plan to report this issue to simplicity to make them aware so that they can make the adjustments necessary on their patterns if they have not done so already so just know that you will have to move your markings up by eight inches or so if you want your hoodie to look right and if you are smaller chested than I am because I am a heavier chested type of person you may have to move your hoodie pocket up even more so just keep that in mind so yes I would definitely recommend this pattern to others even with this small issue of the pocket markings not being in the correct place because it's a simple easy fix and I'm giving you the heads up right now so that you don't have to go through the trouble of wondering if your pocket piece is going to be too low so just know if you get a misprint pattern such as I did 
just check it first and make the necessary adjustments. So this pattern just came out as a, one of the winter collection patterns in 2021. Um, hasn't been out long at all. So this is definitely available in the stores and it's also available to purchase online. But this is a really hot ticket, I think. This pattern is really hot right now because I have looked at this pattern online just looking at the specs and things like that and every single time that I look at it it says that it's out of stock so your best bet as of right now will be to find it at your local Joann's or Hobby Lobby uh, you can pay full price uh, I'm not doing that but you could also just wait until they have a sale and I'm almost sure that it will be in stock there at your um, local stores so for my accessories I'm wearing my little ornament earrings as I have been this whole holiday season ever since Thanksgiving and yeah I just wanted to wear these to be festive with the theme so I will now enter a few more pictures and clips of my hashtag I'm so festive oversized hoodie love this pattern and it's perfect to wear out during the cold winter days while you're walking your dog you're letting your children and your grandchildren play in the snow taking a little walk for exercise going sledding shoveling the snow anything <laughs> and it's also just good for laying on the couch and relaxing with a good old cup of coffee or a hot chocolate tea you name it <laughs> I also think this is a really, really good gift. This is something that would make a really good gift, I should say. You can use licensed basketball or NFL type of fabric and really, really make a nice gift for someone. And, you know, I thought it was funny when my husband <laughs> looked at me while I was trying on the hoodie and was looking at myself in the mirror because he was just staring. And he finally said, that's different but I like it I would wear that and the funny thing about that is that I know I know he was thinking of me making him one with fabric from one of his favorite teams like the Mavericks I think whatever Steph Curry plays on mm -hmm. I, I know that what he I know that's what he wants so anyway <laughs> I might do it I don't know we will see but yeah <laughs> so i hope you liked this video and enjoyed it and if you did you know what to do take a pause for the cause and click that like button and also let me know in the comments what you think about this oversized hoodie and let me know if this is something you, you would wear if this is something that you would make up for someone what are your thoughts let me know please stay tuned for sunday as i continue the series of the virtual me made holiday fashion show yes this coming sunday myself and t of crumpets tea and sewing will be sharing our makes for our new holiday inspired theme so again stay tuned for that because that should be pretty fun and thank you so much for watching and thank you for all of my my new and returning subscribers for your report and I will see you in the next video. Bye!